is Tuesday. The time is 10.30 on the clock. So we are looking for Oh, it says there's an error. Just checking my it says it's still streaming. What's going on? Ah, here we go. All right, we are up and running. All right, so we are going to be messing around with Dungeons and Dragons and Fancy Grounds. We are taking a campaign that I've been using in Classic and we are switching it over to Unity. So there's lots to get done today. I'm hoping to get at least one or maybe two encounters switched over because that's what my group is going to be doing. So I'll be showing you how to do that. Um, because I'm doing a homebrew, it makes it a tad bit more difficult, a little bit more challenging. Not really hard, just more time consuming. If you understand the difference between the two, if I'm being clear, uh, sometimes my explanations don't make a whole lot of sense. So we're going to load the old campaign. Meanwhile, this is the new campaign. So we have So I pretty virtually I have virtually nothing loaded up and ready to go. Um and what we want to do is we're going to be looking for some maps that I'm using for this camp. Uh, what I'm going to be doing, I'm looking for a manor map. So let's go to all. And I believe it's called manor. Let's see. No. So let's see house. All right, so it does not appear that I have it loaded in this section, and that's fine. All right, so what I'm going to do in this particular case is I'm going to extend this out to here. So I still have a lot of the screen when I'm working on this one, and I can just switch over to here. Um, and I'll have a lot of the screen when I'm working on this one. All right, so this is my classic. So my story. So what I can do over here is pull up make a new story entry. Come down here to edit groups. Plus. And what I'm doing is Wednesdays. Close it. Swoop down on Wednesdays, which is empty. Add a story entry. So the group had been looking for a druid who had been captured for shape, shape change, <clears throat> and then was skinned for the pelts of the creature she was shape changed into. And then they rescued her. So this is um, all the storyline and stuff that I've written and put in there for that. So, the Merchant Perun is 
where they're going to be going. Now, none of these actual links, the things with a little eye next to it, that's not going to copy over. The words, see, it's just an asterisk. But it gives me an idea of what to look for and what I'm doing on this. So that will help. I'm not sure why I stopped there, but um, I'm going to go ahead and copy these as well. don't think I need those anymore because I've already finished the encounters, but we'll see. All right, so the first one is they're going to get to the house. They're definitely getting to the house. So the house I was looking for before, remember I said it was a manor? House 2 is what it's called. All right, so... Nope, okay, so it's not here. All right, so there's a couple different things. So this is one thing that I'm hoping to learn how to do well. Um, they've made some changes recently. So it should be, if I remember right, one up here, 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 nope, see this is where I keep getting it wrong, I can't, I don't remember where it is, alright, so let's go to the files, I'm highlighting the directory here. The thing I'm looking for is right here, house and house two. Um, so now let's try it from here, import file, uh, post it there, there we go. All right, so now we go to house two and select. Now we're going to throw it over here. All right, so now we're going to get to work. We get to work with this. So what we need to do first is add a grid. So that is way too big for what I want. I want this room here to be 10 by 10. Let's see. And the stairs, yep, the stairs in that room to be 10 by 10. So uh, it looks to be about half this. So let's go for changing the size of the grid to 25. And since it's locked here, it will can it will stay that, um, that'll be consistent. Uh, and it actually looks pretty darn close. Let's see. <laughs> All right, so it doesn't, it looks like it's, uh, so as it goes from here to here, let's, let's focus on the steps. So we're going to go up just a smidge. Let's go to 27. A little nudgy nudgy. Nudgy nudgy nudgy. All right. So now, good, good. See, so what I'm looking for is I'm looking at how it lines up here, how it lines up here, and then jumping across the map, does it line up? It lines up here, but we're still being thrown off. Let's go just a smidge more. Let's go. I don't think 29 will be right, but I'm going to try it anyway to save me a step. 
Leave a little nudge. All right, so we're lined up, lined up. Closer, closer. Oh, that's actually pretty darn close. Let's see about uh, 29.5er. 29 and 5er. Let's see. All right, good. Oh, really close, really close. Um, let's go. 0.2. There we go. There we go. See, so we're lined up here. We're lined up there. Here. Here. Here, 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 and everywhere. Except for here. What the hell? The rest, almost the entire rest of the map is fine, except for this one little room. What a dork. All right, so we're not going to worry about that one tiny little room. Move down. Go. So there's a couple ways, the traditional way of moving around this map. Oh, it looks like my camera froze. So folks, I know you're really concerned about uh, my camera freezing. I have a new graphics card. And I'm very trepidatious about putting it in myself. Do not feel comfortable doing it. Um, I need to just bite the bullet and, and do it. Well, what we're saying, so I need, I'm going to move the map a little bit. Uh, so you can either click this and hold it and move the mouse. Or you can, anywhere on the map, you can push down on the mouse wheel. Not scroll the mouse wheel, but actually click the mouse wheel. And I can click and drag it. All right, so, yes. So the entirety of the whole map lines up perfectly. Even these little things here, except for that one room right there. <laughs> Dorks. Okay, you're saying, boy, that grid is really dark. So first of all, we're going to make it black. And then we're going to turn it down. Turn that down a little bit. There you go. Look at that. Huh? 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 Snazzy, snazzy. Okay. I want it more black though. Let's see. Boink. There we go. Okay. Boom. And that's how you do it. Okay, so now let's make some walls, shall we? Go to line of sight up here. And I have a couple different tools that you can do. So um I'm gonna I start I'm gonna start with the doors. It's usually a good doors and windows are usually a good way to start off. So you can have those blocked off. Um, going with select, or is it line? I forget. No, it's line. So you can make a little, actually, no, we'll make a little rectangles. That's right. Um, so we're going to zoom in a little bit. Zoomy, zoomy. So here's a back door for the kitchen. Or is that a window? Eh, it's a storeroom. We're going to say it's a back door to the kitchen. We're going to say it's a door. Probably a window, but I'm a damn. It'll, it's whatever I want it to be. Here's another door. It's not very well drawn. Another door. There's a door inside. Actually, there's no door there. I'm just going to leave that open. Um, this just looks like a washroom for a bedroom, so we will put a door there. There's that like a window. That's weird. Anyway, here's a door. Ooh. Um. To a line. So I have a little spec there. Control Z. Boom. Control Z. Fix that. All right. So now, click, 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 click. All right. Close enough. Back to the rectangle. All right. So that's the main eating room. This is like a trophy room. So yes, there's a door. 
This is the outside. These are windows. All right, so we'll say this is the main door here. Another door here. So you see, this is not really difficult. It's just time consuming. Put another door here. Not really sure what those are supposed to be. Trophies, maybe? These are obviously tools and displays. Hmm. I don't know, damn, I guess I have to figure that stuff out, huh? Alright, I don't like it when they do this. A lot of maps will stick the door in between the two squares. It's annoying. So this is an office. Very nice. Here's another privy. Just because when characters try to get through it, you know, they're in the squares, which I like them to be. And now they have to sort of go halfway and then so it's it's a mess. Alright, so the only way to get into this room is through here. That's stupid. Oh well. Okay, so. This is the kitchen. Not sure what this is, but we will close it off the door. We'll leave this open. Um, so you don't have to keep opening and shutting the door every time it come out. So now we're going to make windows. Oops, I forgot a door. Go to the windows, folks. Alright, so that's a fireplace. This room has no windows at all. That's dumb. Alright, this one has a nice couple windows. Window. 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 Und Winder. There we go. Some nice little windows. All right, so this one looks nice. It's got some handy dandy little nice sunny room over here. I don't know if I can go sideways with the rectangles. We're gonna leave it for now. All these little windows, very cool, very cool. Obviously, as a DM, you can choose if you don't want to worry about some of these. You can, uh, you don't have to plot them out. But as I said, this isn't really a difficult task. It's just a little time consuming. So. I'm going to do it. Okay. And so that's it for the windows. As far as I can tell. Let's see. Anywhere else. I'll zoom out a little bit. No, I don't see any other windows anywhere. Okay. So, let's do these two diagonal windows and we'll be done. I don't know if that's going to work. We will see. Alright, so, what is a window and what is a door, Sven? You ask? Well, when I turn on line of sight, it's not going to work perfectly simply because. Oops. <laughs> uh, fun times. Alright. It's not going to work perfectly just because I have. Uh... I don't have any. I don't have any walls up, but when a character is in here, they can then interact. So you can close or open the windows. 
Oh good, it didn't work. I wasn't sure about the diagonals. And the same with the doors. So if she comes here to the door, you can open and close the door. So, and here's another door, I mean here's the door. Boom, boom, see it blocks the line of sight. And when you open it, it's there. And if she steps on the other side and closes the door behind her, now she can't see inside the house anymore. All right, so this will all make more sense. Go back to line of sight. Once I finish the walls. Okay, so now we go to walls. Actually, first, I'm going to get her out of the way. Maybe. Play. Click. First, before that, I'm going to go ahead and do terrain. So terrain is something like this fountain. So okay, uh, Control Z, um, and what that will do is it will block line of sight. But if you get in it, then It will not block the site anymore. There we go. So we're going to make these bushes, for example. Terrain, because if you're in the bush, you can see out of the bush. I'm going to go ahead and extend it out to here. But if you're not in the bush, it blocks your sight. Not a mean jelly bean. Okay. <clears throat> Same thing with these trees. And you can also just turn them on and off, just like the windows. Um, Honestly, you don't need this, but because of the type of personality I have, I want to do it right if you're going to do it. Because nobody's going to be over there. So you really don't have to worry about it, but I'm doing it anyway. There we go. See, so as I said, this is not difficult. It is just time consuming. So I'm also going to do the same thing with... What is this, by the way? Toggable wall, okay. Illusionary wall, a pit, which is experimental. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the bed. If, if I can draw a straight line, there we go, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna do the chairs, why not? Because these things are things you could hide behind. Climb on top of. I'm going to switch to a rectangle because I'm tired of looking like a dork. All right. Like that, like that, and like that. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, stairs are also considered terrain because you can climb on them. But they block your sight if you're not on them. There's another <laughs> Betty Betty. Uh, table table. All right, and I'm going to come back. Well, no, I'm going to switch. Don't want to have to come back.
And uh, just to clarify, I'm just click, left clicking, holding. And that's how you're drawing. So it's very easy to do. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Let's get some rectangular action going on here. And ba bam. Ba bam. Ba bam. No. I'm not sure what happened there. Control Z kills it. All right, um, I'm gonna say that's a chair. I don't know why in the world they would have a chair there, but a couch. I don't know what else that would be. So boom, it's a couch. Okay, so I think I am done with the interactable, interactable, interactive, der. Nope, I forgot, all right, bushes. One bush, two bush. Three bush, four, big old tree, not very well done. So just for argument's sake, let's go to select. So now you can pick the spot and, and it makes me a liar. You can now click on the spot and move it. See, so if you don't want to be a messy person, boom. Boom. All right, it's back to our line for the last bush. Dun, 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 or hedges. Stinking hedges. One might call them shrubbery. All right. Finally, we get two walls. Click. So now we just fill in the parts that are missing. So uh, I'm going to zoom out and do the outer wall first because that's pretty easy. You want when you're drawing your walls, you want to make sure that they can see the wall. So if I draw along the outline here, they won't be able to see. It'll just be dark. So you want to go inside the wall just a smidge. So I'm going in, making a straight line. Oops, Control Z. So what you can also do is click, and then use the arrow. Go to the edge, click, and up. Using the arrow key, I'm going to move it just a smidge so they can, it's sort of right in the middle. Click and left. And when you are finished, click, you hit escape. And now I start again. Uh, it's just a quick, easy one. Click, escape, click, move it just a smidge over, click, down. Whoa, 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 back, 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 back. It's a nice thing about the arrow keys too, is if, you, if you're not using arrow keys, it would have made a point where I had to turn around. So this way you don't have to worry about that. And the lines are, are nice and straight. Escape. All right, so now I have my outer walls. Um, if I wanted to be really anal, 
I could go around the fireplace. I'm not. So we're going to go clickety. Down, 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 down. And we want to go all the way up to the window. Click. Escape. So now we're going to zoom in a little bit because especially when we get up to this front part. It's going to be lots of little drawings. Escape. Escape. Oops. Escape. Click. Click. Escape. So the reason I'm doing this is because if you don't, then when you're inside the room, you'll have these little gaps in between the windows and stuff. And it uh, looks silly and sloppy. I know this because I've been on maps where they are not exact. So I am making sure. Go all the way up to the door, all the way up to the window, so there are no gaps. Little wall. Escape. Escape. Obviously, you can tell this map I found. Ooh, I'm missing a couple windows. Do I care? This um, map I found isn't the highest definition. Escape. All right, let's do the windows real quick. All right, so now we go to select, click this point, move it to there. Okay. All right, back to our wall. So the nice thing about putting the grid first, you don't have to have the grid to do these, um, but having the grid gives you lines to follow too if you need to. Um, oh, I've got a couple windows. Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and do this wall real quick. And then I'll add the window in just a moment. So I sh uh, I'm not going to be lazy this time. I'm going to escape, then click, and then over. All right, so you see, quick, easy, wall, wall, just time consuming. Um. And so I forgot, I found another window I forgot. So here's windows. Rectangula, rectangula. And we'll start on this side. Boom, boom, boom. Window. Boom, boom, boom. Window. And now we go back to line because we forgot this puppy over here. Oink, oink, oink. Boink, boink, there's a window. All right, wall, line, good. Click, boom, boom. Now you'll find that most of your dungeons, 
um, and things like that are not going to be this intricate. So you won't have to spend as this much time um, doing it. You also don't have to be as anal as I am if you want to be quicker can. The nice thing is if you purchase any kind of module like Lost Minds of Van Delver or any of those type of ones. Uh, actually, I don't like that at all. Uh, anything you purchase from the Fantasy Ground store has all this stuff already done. So dmsguild.com has some nice stuff. Uh, as well depends on not a lot of that is going to have it um, the look at the description and it'll usually be in there if it has it or not all right so now we time to time to go back to our handy dandy arrow key All the way out to the door, like that escape. All right, so again, this is not in the middle, so we're gonna hit select, select, and just move it. Simple as that. Finish going around the outside. I will go around the big one. Small fireplaces I haven't been worrying about. Big one I will move a little bit just because it's cool looking. Almost done, folks. Can you feel the excitement in the air? So, outside is done. Now, I will, since I'm here, I'll go ahead and start in this room. Move it down so I can see as much of the walls and stuff as I can. And bam, click. Click and what's the next thing? Escape. That's right, escape. And like I said, you want to make sure you get in between these things. When you forget, it becomes pretty obvious when you're moving people around that there's little cracks and stuff in your drawings. messed up with that one. Select and move it over. Come on. There we go. Good boy. Alright, so all our walls are done here. So doodly do doodly do doodly do. Oh look at so it looks like all we have left is this little section here and we're done. Boom 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 and then we get to see the magic. We get to see why is this so important. What the heck is all this for? Oops. Remember, the green is not, the green is a object. It's not a wall, wall or anything like that, or even a window. So I'm not gonna worry about that one tiny little bit there. I know, I'm fired. 
sloppy work. If this was something I was turning in to, uh, like, oops, fancy ground or something like that, then uh, yes, I would definitely worry about it. But what in the world's going on here, folks? But it's not. So, and honestly, I don't expect that. I know I'm doing a lot of work here, but I'm not really going to be very long in this because it's mostly empty. I have a couple winged basculus. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Um, waiting for them. Okay, that should be a wall. It says it's not, but it is. So I'm going to make it a wall because you wouldn't have things going into the storeroom, the bedroom. I am going to make it a window though, so let's see, can I, uh, let's see, I don't remember how to get rid of it, let's see, remove points, there you go, select, remove points, select, oh, there it is, remove points, there we go, cool, oh, uh, I learned, rectangle, window, Select, well, I don't think that matters, but I'm going to move him over. Okay. So I could see being in a bedroom, looking out every once in a while. Anyway, or it's not really a bedroom, it's like a sitting room in an office. You want to know what the hell is going on over here. Um, and I'm going to make this, uh, I'm going to get rid of this door. I'm going to say this is a window. Doesn't make sense that there would be a door in the middle of nowhere. So, select. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Goodbye, what is this? Delete points, remove points. I don't know what the difference is. All right, looks like that got rid of all of it. All right, back to window real quick. Not sure why I'm making them so wide, but hey, whatever. It's not important. It's a window. All right. Back to walls, and we're almost finished. Ooh, can you feel it? Do you feel the excitement in the air? The pride of a job well done. That's right, folks. That's what this does for you. All right, I'm going to do a quick scan of the map. Scanny, scanny, scanny. Dilly doot, dilly doot, dilly doot. That's not, that's the Scooby Doo sound. It's not really the uh, scanning sound. All right, so now let's go to play. <gasps> They're all gone. Oh no, what did you do? Damn it, Jim. All right, so let's go bring in Tusk. And now we turn on. Dun, 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 line of sight. Look at that. See, he can look around. And being a big barbarian, he's going to jump on top of the table. Now he can see everything. See, uh -huh. see even the fireplace, remember we moved it out a little bit? Yeah, yeah, very cool. Now he goes into this room. And he can't see up the stairway. Oh, there's another stairway over here, very cool, look at that. Oh, hey, look, there's a door. What's at the door? I don't know, let's open the door. Ooh, yeah. Uh-oh, scary things, we'll close it. Actually, no, we're gonna go open it. We're gonna go out and look at that. We're gonna walk around the room. The place because the place has walls you can't see over them but look there's a window you can see in the window look at that very cool look at see ha 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 see his little window slits and the walls and stuff very nice these open or closed okay see and so he can see the tree 
And if he gets in it, then he can see out it. So, that's the same thing with the bush. Shrubberies. Fountain. Jumps in the fountain. Now he can see out. See, he can see in the house through all these windows. So, had he not been there, so like, for example, slap Genesis here. Uh, I wouldn't advise slapping Genesis. It's not nice. See? They can see through the windows. Ooh, what are all those windows for? Ooh, ooh, what can you see? What can you see? Look in the window. Ooh. So, very cool. Then you go to the door. As a player, they would not be able to go through here because it's closed. But then you open the door and see all the people. Very nice. Very nice. I'm using the arrow keys to move around. Uh-oh. There's a wall I missed. Okay. The door there. Going through. Good. All right. Oh, there's an... Is there... It looks like I missed a door and a wall. All right. So, let's go to... Yep, I missed them both. All right. Boom. I should just leave it so I can learn them what's going on. Click, but that's okay. And then the door. Oops. Control C. Rectangle. So why I do the doors first, it's a little easier to see what's going on. See the crack? See the crack? Told you. Told you if you don't do it right. Alright. See tiny little cracks and stuff here, but that's alright. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, close enough. It's a crack in the door, so if you really want to look, you can go up there and look. All right, so we are done with this. Um, hey, Atomic Hero Squad, how you doing? Just mm, imported a map, added a line of sight. Uh, took me there we go. So like I said, this is not really difficult. It's just time consuming. So now when you go to play, boom, all that's gone. And then uh, if you can also just turn it off if you don't want to have it on there at all for the players. And I think I'm going to have it raining outside. So we're going to go to effects. Add an effects layer. The effect I'm going to have is rain. So you see it's raining. I can change the intensity of the rain, the amount of the rain, speed, and the direction of the rain. Um, all of that is fine. But what they've now added is I can... Uh, I forget the difference between the two. I know what this does. So hide area. Which, and I think I can just go like this. We'll check it out and see if I'm correct. Let's see if we can move it over here. Okay, we'll zoom it out a little bit. So what I'm trying to do is make it to where the rain is only in on the outside, which you can do. So no. Okay, so it's the uh, it's reveal area. Let's make sure I know what I'm doing first, and then I'll do the rest of it. Okay, hold on. What is it? It's, oh, it's enable mask. Um, there's one button I'm, I'm missing here. Give me just a second, and I'll get it. I've slept and eaten since I did this the other day.
That's what it is. Enable mask. Okay. Reveal area. So um, we click on the reveal area, and then we hold. Is it control? No. See, so now it's just raining out here. So we're going to go ahead and put. Is it shift? No. Control. No. Alt. There it is. Alt. All right. So now we just do a quick draw, draw, draw. Oops, I'm being sloppy. I'm just going to make sure this works and then I'll fix it. There you go. So see, so now it's raining outside, not inside. Control Z. All right, ooh, ooh, got rid of everything. Oops. All right, now I know what I'm doing. We'll make it quick. Enable hide area. Disable the mask. I'm going to do the outside first. Outside edges, I should say. And then we'll just do the inside of this really quick. Well, we'll fix that. We'll see. Damn it, I just did it again. All right, so for reals this time, I'll have to remember Control Z does not fix that. Disable the mask. I'm going to do Alt. Take my time. Draw these lines. It doesn't have to be perfect, but last couple times I did this running out of room on my mouse pad all the way down this time. Boom. There we go. So it's raining out. Yeah, so if you have any questions, Atomic Hero Squad, feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer the questions. Working in Fantasy Grounds Unity. Oh, I had the wrong stream information up there. Sorry, guys. All right, so you can see we have rain outside. And it's clear inside. See, so yeah, I'll make it a little bit more tense. Oh, there you go. I like that. Cool. Less intense, nice. All right, so our map is ready to go. Get rid of our characters. So we did all this so we could finish the encounter we can uh, lock that so we have our map um, and then if we go back to our original map here we go I did have the stairway covered and I'm probably going to do that again cover it with a table because it's basically just an add down stairway it looks like on this map it's an up or down, but I'm going to have it just be a down. But more importantly, we now need the encounter. So I had three winged basilisk in here. So let's go here. NPCs. Winged cobalt. All right, so where are the winged basilisk from? Go 
go to my NPCs, find them on this list. Oh, okay, right to the drow. All right, um, I do not have that open. Oh, I didn't transfer that, that module over to Unity. All right, so that's not, I'm not going to worry about... Well, let's show you how to do that real quick. If you head here... So this is my old... Fancy Grounds, and you can see everything here. This is the one that says Smiteworks is the new one. Go into modules. Open up my modules on this one. So what I was just talking about is This one. So now it's in there, and now I just need to load it. Maybe. Library modules. Okay, now I need to find out what just, what just happened. I thought I just put it in there. Didn't I? So we're going to... Smiteworks modules. It's right here. So why isn't it showing up? Interesting. I may need to go, go out and come back in for it to actually work. Um, but that's fine, so we'll worry about that encounter later. Last thing we're gonna do is see if we can find the token. Assets, tokens. Let's go for it's a table. All right, so I have several tables here. This is like a storeroom, so I think I'm going to use so I can um, try to get a preview of a little larger image of it. This one's not bad. I don't mind this one. It's got dishes and stuff stacked on it. So we're going to do this. Boom. And then we just need to make it bigger. Okay, the problem is it is rectangular. I had to make it huge. Or I could bring in two tables. I'm 
I'm gonna leave it the way it is. All right, so we've got a table there. Looks a little weird. Um, so let's so, bring it down. We're gonna turn it. If you right click on it, you can then rotate it. Let's see. Maybe the table's not the best idea. Click it again. Oh, duh, what am I thinking? So I can also go here to uh, all and I can go to dirt. Dirt road, dirt flat, dirt round. So let's see what this, how this looks. It's a four by four. I don't need it to be four by four. So let's um, I'm going to leave it like that for now. Um, I may play with it some more. Put something else there, maybe some chairs or a bookcase or something. Um, point is, this is covered. Stairway is covered, um, and I'll I'll play with that a little bit more, fix that. All right, so it has been an hour. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Sign off here. If you curious how unity works Sundays at 5:30 to 8 uh, Pacific time we play Starfinder using unity and more specifically tomorrow 10:30 in the morning I will be uh, Pacific time which is Wednesday I will be messing around and prepping for the game on Thursday I mean on Sunday I uh, check me out on uh, YouTube. Uh, that's how you found it in the first place. Semester seventy seven at YouTube. I mean, uh, search YouTube for Spencer seventy seven, and you'll find my videos. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment, subscribe, like, and whatever else you do. Please enjoy the rest of your day.